Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. The Ethereum chart is still consolidating just sideways, just basically above the support region we identified, but also below the resistance area we identified. So while, as I said yesterday, while the minimum requirements for this move to the upside have been fulfilled, remember we looked at the movement from the January lows, okay, and it's a five wave pattern. You see that it's a five wave move up, which means it could be finished at any point. Wave one, wave two, long wave three, wave four, wave five. It's technically, I mean, it's technically complete, especially when zooming out. Now, looking at the shorter time frame, I think we could get a few more squiggles there to the upside. And in the current market, I, which, which has been characterized by very, very shallow pullbacks, I'm not going to confirm a top in place without having solid evidence. I would always encourage people not to assume a top has been established anyway, regardless of the market, because we need confirmation for it, right? Um, or at least an early indication that a trend is breaking to confirm that a move is happening into the other direction. At the moment, there is currently nothing that would confirm that this uptrend is over. In fact, if it's really a triangle that's unfolding here, uh, as highlighted in blue, in light blue, then it is possible that we just get one more high and the top is in. So we could still be in an active uptrend, see one more high that could lead to the top. Now, the, the move obviously here that happened on the 5th of March, that was in my interpretation, a wave four pullback. That was wave four of circle wave three, which is the larger degree third wave. As soon as this third wave is finished, we should see a wave four, a larger degree wave four which based on the current price highs could reach the area between $2,980 and $3,520. But this area will move higher if the price pushes a little higher as well. So it's absolutely possible that we just get one more high basically here in yellow wave five before forming a top. And then I have to assume or I have to move actually this larger support area higher. Now let's um, understand the microstructures here. So in there are two micro patterns that I'm following. I still think the entire pattern would look best with one more high. And that could mean that wave four um, has finished here. That's wave four of the larger degree um, fifth wave of circle wave three. It's possible that this yellow wave four finished on the 12th of March at around $3,828 and we're now already in wave five, that's possible. It's also possible that the wave four is still unfolding as a triangle in practice. It wouldn't really make a great difference. And these scenarios are both valid as long as the 3,823 level, which is the Tuesday low is holding. So against that level, I'm focusing on higher because I think it would look best with one more high, but obviously it's very clear condition that this swing low needs to hold. And if it doesn't, Okay, you know, it is possible that wave four resets a little lower. That would be quite a substantial wave four though. And it wouldn't really look right in terms of proportions. So I don't really think that's a high probability scenario, which then in turn will mean that should this level be broken, we are possibly already in circle wave four that could take the price into the already specified region. However, as long as we're holding basically um, the Tuesday low, I remain focused on higher and would still need to see a confirmed break below 3,674 to really confirm that this larger degree fourth wave has started. Until then, I prefer to see a move to possibly 4,268 next, maybe even higher. The trend is still up. Okay? It's, it might be changing, but if this is a triangle, then it's typically suggesting that one more move to the upside is happening. Now, if not, then the $3,828 level, if broken, will be a first warning for us. Basically an initial top signal. Better top signal will be a break below 3,674. And looking at really the nano structures here, if we try to understand the structure in that diagonal, uh, in the triangle, it's entirely possible that the wave four unfolds as triangle and we saw already a wave A, B, C. We might now be in the D wave of the triangle and could get one more E wave. I don't see many triangles in the current market, I have to say, but um, as soon as the E-wave is complete, we could see a move up in wave five and a break above the B-wave high, which is here at 4,082, would be initial indication, yeah, would, be, would suggest that the wave five to the upside um, is unfolding. 
2, as I said, possibly 4,268, and it would need to be confirmed with a break above 4,091. So in summary, I'm still looking for <clears throat> at least one more high, but it's not needed to complete the price structure that started on the 23rd of January. And that means it's wise to be on the side of caution, but not bearish. You know? um, it's still a bullish market. And even if we get a deeper pullback, that would most likely just be a larger degree fourth wave pullback that could be used to look for um, long entries potentially. That's my update about Ether. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.